Hi everyone, we're so excited to announce the release of Elevation Tracking in Rococo Studio Beta. While this is only the first iteration of the tool and we will continue to improve it, you can already hop in and create some awesome Rococo mocap that just wasn't possible before now. So let's jump into it. To access Elevation Tracking, you'll need to download Rococo Studio Beta, which you can find on rococo.com, and you'll need to also be using a Rococo SmartSuit Pro 2. Let's open up Rococo Studio Beta. Beta will automatically download the newest version with Elevation Tracking included when you start up Rococo Studio Beta. Next, we'll create a new project and then a new scene. So here I am in my SmartSuit Pro 2 and my Smart Gloves, and I've already set up this suit and gloves. So all I need to do is plug in my battery after my gloves have been connected to the suit, and then we'll see our hardware pop up in the scene. If we click on this device manager, this is where if we were plugged into our computer, we would normally set up our Wi-Fi or update firmware, as well as enable boost mode or EMF mode on our smart gloves. You can also check out this question mark menu if you want to see available shortcuts or other useful links. Let's start by adding an actor object into our scene. I'll name it Sam, and I'll set my color and height. and then I'll drag my suit and gloves onto our actor. If I then select the actor object, I can do a calibration straight pose. Okay, now we've set up our suit and our gloves, which have been added to an actor object. So how do we actually enable elevation tracking? So with our actor object selected, if we click this little wand up here at the top, you can see that under locomotion, we now have some options for elevation tracking. I'll turn this on, and now we can set our step height. So to get ideal results from elevation tracking, this step height number should be as close to the actual height of the objects you're stepping on as possible. For instance, the distance from the floor to the top of this first little poof step that I have here is about a foot, and then from the top of the first step to the second is another foot, right? A regular distance. Stairs and staircases, for example, are also usually all the same height. However, while it's ideal to actually measure the steps you'll be taking and for them to have a regular shared height, it isn't strictly necessary because you can edit all of these settings on your clip after you've recorded your mocap. In fact, you don't even need to have elevation tracking turned on when you record because you can always turn it on when you're editing. However, if you want to see elevation tracking while your suit is live, you will have to have it turned on in that live filters menu up top. Okay, so now let's actually record something. So this first step that I'm using is a softer little poof, which is not ideal. Ideally, you wanna be stepping on objects that are rock solid. However, we will be able to get a great result even though this little pillow thing is a little bit softer. So after we hit stop, we will see the clip that we just recorded. And if we start playing this back, you can see that while parts of this are good, this definitely isn't the total result we wanted, right? And that's because we now have to go through and do some quick editing. So elevation tracking, much like normal Rococo locomotion, works via tracking your foot contact with the ground. So these bars down here represent each time either foot was in contact with the ground. And you can visualize this in your scene by toggling on this foot locks. So we fix issues like this by just going in and adjusting some of the keyframes down here representing the foot contact. So let's just start with this one right here. You can see that A, we don't need this little gap right here as my left foot never actually leaves the ground. So I can right click on this bar, remove this segment, and drag this left foot keyframe out until it actually leaves the ground right there. Next, we want to snap our foot into place right here as it, as it comes down on our first step. So we will adjust the right foot keyframe, let that process, and there we go, first step. And you can see here that we'll have to go in and do the same thing for our left foot, right? It lands right here, so I will drag this keyframe out, let it process, snap, and then snap, and there we go. So that looks much better than what we had before. 
no foot sliding, no issues, and we've climbed up our two steps here. So if we look at the end of the clip here when we're getting back down and we don't actually move levels, editing the foot contact is a really good way to control which level your character is going to. So here you can see Rococo Studio thinks that our left foot has already landed, right? It's on the new level, but that's not true. It's, it's on the same level. So what we need to do is actually go in and remove this segment and that will allow our foot to drop down because it is not locked yet until it hits the actual stair below. So we can maybe drag this out a little bit, make this lock a little bit earlier. Boom, boom, there we go. And now we've gotten down. And sometimes it's necessary to also play with the step height, which you can find over here. We can actually turn elevation tracking off. We can adjust the uh, step height, which can have really profound effects on your mocap. So if something isn't working, or maybe you know you can't get your foot to actually go down or go up the level that it's supposed to, you might need to go in and maybe change this to 25, maybe change it to 35, maybe change it to 15. Mess around with this step height because that's going to be the minimum amount of height that your character needs to move in order to actually have one of these new elevation snapping uh, points. Okay, so now let's export this mocap and see how it actually looks on a character. I'll add that recording to the export list. And then if I go and rename it, maybe to climb up and look, we can export this out and bring it into Maya. So now we'll open up Maya and I'll just go through the regular retargeting process. We have lots of tutorials about how to do this in the various different softwares like Blender, Cinema 4D, Maya, Unreal, Unity, and you can check those out on our YouTube channel. There we go, I've gotten everything retargeted onto our character and now I can just create a couple little cubes and here we go. Now we have our character actually stepping up two steps to get a better view and it all looks really great. The feet are locked into place and we also come back down to the ground when we step down those steps. So there's a bunch of different ways you can use elevation tracking, everything from jumping up on different platforms and all around the room to going up and down staircases. But again, we will emphasize that because this is just the first iteration of this tool, you'll want to spend the time going through and actually editing your foot contact keyframes in Rococo Studio. And you also might need to play around a lot with that step height, especially while you're editing. Using those two filter tools, you should be able to get results that are really realistic and are completely beyond the old capabilities of the Rococo SmartSuit Pro 2. We hope that this video was helpful in getting you started using elevation tracking. You can always go to the Discord or leave a comment down below if you have any questions. We'll see you at the next tutorial and we hope you have so much fun with the new elevation tracking in Rococo Studio Beta.